So what I want to talk about today is my journey for fire, my EDC journey for fire. I rarely use a lighter for anything, uh, but there is times where, you know, if it's fabric I need to singe or, uh, you know, light something or uh, in the rarest of cases, if I had to start fire to stay warm, if something something were to happen, uh, if my vehicle stopped running or or whatever it may be, it's just it's very much a preparedness type device uh, that you can make pretty small. So to carry something every day that gives you fire, uh, the benefit out, outweighs the pocket space. So the reason why I'm making this particular video is I've always really liked Zippos. I think they look really cool. They're American made, which is great. They have a, a fidget factor to them. And you know, they really do round out an EDC look. Whether you smoke or not, uh, just they look really cool, right? What I didn't realize is the type of fuel Zippo uses, and not even the type of fuel, just really the design of a Zippo lighter, is you lose your fuel source through evaporation. Now, I've heard different Different metal types, like brass on brass, has a better seal. I got to imagine, though, with the wick in the opening, you're still going to get uh, gassing, gas off, evaporation, probably just as, as quickly. Um, like I said, I didn't know this. So when I purchased my Zippo, I purchased a smaller one, so it'll fit my key pocket or my coin pocket, whatever whatever you call it. And I really liked it, but I started to notice that I would get two weeks, maybe, and it wouldn't work anymore. So I just kind of dealt with it. I convinced myself, you know, at least at least if it is out of fuel, you still have flint, right? It throws a spark pretty well. You might be able to start something, start some kindling on fire with that. And then I decided, you know, maybe I should look into butane lighters. And through that I discovered, you know, you could get a butane lighter uh, for Zippo. Basically get a butane insert for Zippo. So instead of having the having the fuel this way, you have an actual insert that's a torch butane lighter. That's pretty cool. I get to keep the cool look. I get to uh, you know keep the fuel retention. There's one problem though. They don't make it for the small Zippo. I don't know if you can tell this is the smaller, not the full size Zippo. The size of the lighter is important to me. Earlier I mentioned pocket space. Well, my pocket real estate is precious to me. I don't want to carry a full-size Zippo. Now that might change down the road. There may be a time that a time that comes where I decide, you know what, just bite the bullet, get the full-size Zippo, and get the butane insert. That could happen down the line. What I started to realize, though, is... A standard Bic, I've got tons of them. The small Bic, standard size Bic, they're all relatively small and they don't take up a lot of pocket space. And furthermore, I've got Bics I've owned for years. That's how rare it is that I use, uh, use lighters. But the fact that they lasted for all those years, they're so inexpensive especially the smaller one, they take up almost no space at all. I decided, you know, why don't we abandon this guy and why don't we just go back to carrying good old-fashioned Bic? Now, this is fine, but what I find is it's pretty easy to compress this and lose all your gas. So I'm in the same boat here. 
nice small size, losing my fuel resource. So I looked for a while and what I found, I found this. And when I say I found this, I bought this guy for two reasons. So Dolphin, it's obviously Chinese or Japanese, Chinese rather. J5 is the model, they make different sizes. This is the Mini Bic. I did this for two reasons. One, I wanted to dress up my boring lighter, right? So this gives it a better look. It goes in further. I'm not pushing it in all the way though because it is kind of hard to get out. You have to push it from the bottom to get it out. Uh, but, you know, it dresses up the lighter, makes my EDC not look so cheap. Uh, this is great. The thickness of the metal is great. <clears throat> but what I realized is this is a win-win for me. And I don't know if you noticed earlier at the beginning of the video, but I actually have this like this. And this is actually how I carry it, which is perfect. I can't depress the button for fuel. Uh, it's protected. It's down on the bottom here. It's pretty easy to get at. So when I do go to use it, I'll either just pop it out, use my lighter, see how it works. Amazing, huh? I've had this thing for like four years, and guess what? Fire. What a shock. Opposed to this guy. Uh, so for me, this is a win-win. Looks unique. I've never seen anyone do this. I've never seen anyone flip it this way. Uh, easy to access, keeps the button protected, and I think it looks great. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. This was uh, an Amazon pickup for me. I think it ran me six, seven bucks. Uh, moving forward, whenever I need, whenever this guy runs out of fuel, I'll just pick up one of these small guys for, I don't even know how much they are. I'm sure they're a buck or less. And I can continue on with my life, minimal pocket, Space taken up, still has a good look to it. I still have fire. It's a win, win, win. Let me know what you guys all think in the comments. Please like if this is helpful. If you've also had lighter experiences that are good or bad, please share because I'm always evolving my pocket uh, EDC. Uh, and for me, this was initially a big win. I loved it. I love the size, the smallness, but the practicality of it for fuel retention was just not there. So I'd be curious to know if you guys are using electric lighters, butane lighters, refillable butane lighters. I'd love to hear your experiences, what works, what doesn't work. Uh, you know, for me, if, if I did smoke and I use this thing every day and I just knew I had to refill it every couple weeks or every week, just make that habit, this would probably be fine, but I wanna put it in my pocket, I wanna forget about it, and then the moment I need it, I throw it out it's reliable. I can use it. So yeah, thank you. Hope this is helpful.